First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 1, verses 18 to 25. What does it matter? Just this, that Christ is proclaimed in every way, whether out of false motives or true, and in that I rejoice, yes, and I will continue to rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance. It is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be put to shame in any way, but that by my speaking with all boldness, Christ will be exalted now as always in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, living is Christ and dying is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I prefer. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better, but to remain in the flesh is more necessary for you. Since I am convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with all of you for your progress and joy in faith, so that I may share abundantly in your boasting in Christ Jesus when I come to you again. The Word of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the 30th week in the ordinary time. Today the gospel speaks about the humility, how we can be humble and still be the servants of the Lord. Let us listen to the gospel. Reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. On one occasion, when Jesus was going to the house of a leader of the Pharisees, to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. When he noticed how the guests chose the places of honor, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honor. In case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host, and the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, Give this person your place. And then in disgrace, you would start to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, move up higher then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, when we think and reflect on the Gospel today, we cannot ignore two leaders of the Church. One is the Pope John Paul II, who was so humble. I have experienced him and his love for the free people, how he often comes down and he serves the poor. And also Pope Francis, who is so humble to travel in the bus, the public transport, and who is humble to carry his own bag, who is so humble to prepare his own food, prepare his own breakfast, who is so humble to walk among the people. Today when we 
get into bigger boots, a big position and a post, we think of maintaining it. We think of maybe buying a big vehicle, building a big house, wearing expensive clothes and so forth. Maybe my dear brothers and sisters, all that is at the cost of the poor. When we have a vehicle, it is understood that we must use it for our existence and the service we do. But at the same time, we can have a brand name. The brand name we are paying for can be compensated with the normal, ordinary thing, where with the extra money we pay for it can be used to do charity. Many people don't think of this. But still we want the best, whereas those who don't have, have nothing. On the other hand, my dear brothers and sisters, the positions and the humility. To be humble, Jesus says very clearly in the gospel, if you want to enter into the kingdom of God, be like a little child, which means be humble and be simple. Be humble and be simple. Once George Washington was traveling and there was a tree fallen across the road and he stopped his car and there were soldiers clearing it up and trying to roll up the log, remove the log, the tree. It was too heavy. They wanted the help of some people. There was another officer and he went there. He told, let us, the soldiers are there, let us help them to move this. But he told, I am the officer here. I am the lieutenant and let them do their duty. I am there here to supervise them. Then George Washington took his coat away and helped those people to move the log by himself. And he came and told this officer, I'm George Washington, the president of the United States. My dear brothers and sisters, he was humiliated. So my dear brothers and sisters, today in order to protect ourselves, to keep our own standards and our own crowns, our status we call it, how many times we deprive the others. We can do more if we think, try to be a little humble and simple like your Jesus, who came down from heaven, Philippines chapter 2 says, He being the Son of God, emptied himself to become a human being. He became nothing when he became a human being, being the Son of God, being divine. May God bless you all. Sri